a team now. And another team that saw a change at the wide receiver position was the New York Giants. My man, P. Schrags is down in Phoenix, Arizona with a special guest, general manager of the Giants, Dave Gettleman. Schrags, take it away. Thank you, Will Silva. I'm here with Dave Gettleman, the general manager of the New York Giants. We are now on day three of the NFL League meetings, and happy to have you here, Mr. Gettleman, and appreciate you being here so early in the morning. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's great to be upright. You know, that, that beats the alternative all yes. the time. And, I, you know, you, you've been nice to me, so I, <laughs> I figured I'd show up. Nice so at least I could do. That's it. Well, let's, let's talk about first the rule change that everyone's talking about right now in the league. And you were in those rooms yesterday. Your initial reaction when you see that now there's going to be a rule where someone from the sidelines can throw a red flag and challenge not only at pass interference, a potential non-call as well. It, it, it's, it's really great for the game, Peter. It really is. It, 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 I mean, everybody saw what happened. Everybody was. It was a great football game between the Saints and the Rams, and all everybody's talking about is a missed call. That's true. You know, so uh, let's not let's uh, keep our game as as uh, as as right as we can. And uh, yesterday was a great step. You've been doing this for a long time. When you see such a sea change in a crucial call like this, are you surprised by it, or is this just how the NFL is now? We change and we keep on evolving. Well, you know, you have to evolve. And the bottom line is, we're we're a game. It's a game played by humans, officiated by humans, coached by humans. We're all going to make mistakes. But it, 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 this is a great thing that we can now, we now know we can fix it. Okay, let's go to the New York Giants here. The very busy few weeks. We start the combine, then we go obviously to the free agency, the Odell Beckham trade. A lot of Giants fans are watching right now and saying, is there a plan? What is our direction? And I know you've had a conference call with reporters. <laughs> You're sitting here on Good Morning Football with a new audience. What is the direction of the New York Giants as we stand here going towards the month of April? Well, really and truly, Peter, the, 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 I call this the roster building season. It's a game season and there's a roster building season. And at, at the end of the day, you, you don't, we don't play until September. All right, so I, you know I have my beliefs in how I'm gonna, how you know we're gonna build a roster, and that's what we're doing. You know, the uh, I laugh that uh, uh, you know I have no plan. My wife every once in a while texts me, uh, "Are you working on your plan yeah, yet?" You, you, well, crafting it, the plan. It, it's pretty funny stuff. But it, like I said, at the end of the day, we got plenty of time. We've gotten through free agency. My 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 theory on free agency is, uh, if you do it right, it puts you in a position where you can take the best player available, uh, so that you're not in the draft. You're not in a situation where I have to have a and then fill in the blank uh, you don't want to be there so I think we've done that and uh, right now and, and you're still nibbling around the edges we all are all 32 yeah. teams are nibbling around the edges seeing who's still available and you know at the end of the day uh, probably in another couple of weeks you'll be you know you start work you start your draft meetings and be ready to rock and roll I do want to hit on the Beckham break uh, shortly because the one thing that I saw that stuck out was you said it's a business decision it's not a personal decision it's a business decision People then said, well, what was the business decision? Because you're giving away one of the best wide receivers. But you guys did get quite a bounty back. So when you hear people criticizing and you come back and say, no, it's a business decision, I want to clarify that a little bit. Well, you know, Peter, at the, at the end of the day, every decision that, that a general manager makes, it, 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 you know, is sending a message to the rest of the team and, and uh, sending a message, obviously, to the fan base. The, at the end of the day, football's the ultimate team game. Uh, last time I checked, when you blow a whistle and the ball's spotted, there's 11 guys on both sides of the ball. And it, it's, it, so that's why I say it's the ultimate team game. You got, you know, a sport like baseball, it's the batter and the pitcher. Yeah. You know, that's what it is. You know, every once in a while you have a rundown, so you might get a handful of guys involved. But our game is the ultimate team sport, and the best team will win. And, it, and really, it's, it's about volume in terms of talent. And we, the business decision was, you know, teams had called us, um, we listened, and we were not going to give Odell away, and we didn't. Yeah, did not give him away. And one of the guys you got back was, in addition to the first round of third round pick, Jabril Peppers. A lot of fans at home might know, not know Jabril Peppers' game. You're excited about Jabril Peppers. He was a first-round pick. What can they get in this new safety that's coming in as Landon Collins exits the building? Well, you know, it, what Jabril does is, you know, for us, you know, like I said, he, he's a former first-round pick and legitimately so. Uh, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's played solid the first couple of years, and, and he's going to get better and better. Um, and the, the biggest thing, you know, he also has punt return ability. And the bottom line is he's a, he's a quality three-down player. In this, in this day and age, in, in the old days, you know, when I started, which we're not gonna, I'm not going to tell you what year that was. All right, in the old days, 
you know, you can have a what we call a box safety, a guy yeah. who's a two-down box safety. You can't anymore. The game's evolved, and your safeties have to be legitimate three-down players, and that's what Jabril is. Uh, you guys now have the sixth and the seventeenth pick. Eli is going into another NFL season. And then this morning there was a report out there saying you guys are interested in Josh Rosen. Let's take a breath and take us through just the quarterback question. I feel like this is year three of us, you know, talking about this, but this is the quarterback question in New York. What do you look at as far as that position and Eli and then all these rumors with maybe the draft of the sixth overall pick or the 17th or even a Josh Rosen trade? You know, it, it, at the end of the day, you know, you can't win without a quarterback. We all know it. The, the, you know, you, you can... You, you, it's just the way the game is built. Sure. Okay. All right, you have to have a quarterback. I really believe there's been a false narrative out there about that Eli's finished, he's done. He had a heck of a year. We scored a lot of points late. Most points in the NFC East. Yeah, you know, which I, you know, it, which blew my mind. But at the end of the day, Eli can still make all the NFL throws. He can still play. You know, last time I checked, if the guys, if if your quarterback's upright, it gives you a chance. So we, you know, we've we, we're uh, we, you know, rebuilt, built up, or whatever phrase you want to use, the O line, mm -hmm. and we got another important piece with the Kevin Zeitler sure. trade, and uh, you know, uh, Eli still is a quality NFL quarterback. And I just it wears me out. It really does. As obviously he's 38 years old, like Pat says, he's closer to 40 than he yeah. is to 20. Last time we checked, 40 take away 38 yeah, too. So you know, I you know I do high math. Yeah. So anyhow, the bottom line is, yes, we, 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 you know we have to address it. It's 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 not it's reality. So when the time's right, we will. Sixth pick is not a draft for need pick though. That's not one where you're like, oh, boy, we need to make a move. No, no. Like I said, like I told you. It, 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 free agency is about setting yourself up so you can take the best player available. Good. Quickly, a message for Giants fans at home because everyone is excited for this draft and they're also excited for the season. You're the general manager. You've made some moves. Obviously, there's a, a fan base that is so passionate. Some optimism for the Giants fans who might be saying, what's going on? Or the ones who are excited, yeah. kind of reaffirm it. Well, you know, it's we, we've had a really good offseason. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, it, it, you know, it wasn't a secret. The last three of our last four games, we couldn't make a stop on defense in the fourth quarter. We could have won all three of those games. Um, we, we, we've really bolstered the back end with the, with uh, with the trade for Jabril and also signing Antoine Bethea. Uh, we, you know, we've we've like I said, strengthened the O line. Um, it, it, you know, with Kevin the Kevin Zeitler trade, and we get we, we're we're building. We're building and. and you can win and build at the same time. They're not, you know, uh, two two separate pieces. You can do that, and we're going to do that. We're going to fix this, and we're going to be better. The Blue Nation's watching, and they are excited. Dave Gettman, I appreciate you coming on here so early in the morning. Giants, fascinating in the draft, <laughs> and you are at the point of all of it. Good luck with it all, my friend. Thank you so much, Peter. God Thanks bless. So. All right, guys, back to you. Dave Gettleman, awesome as always, here on Good Morning Football. Ooh. And thank you, Peter, for bringing us, David Gettleman. Keep being nice to him. Maybe he'll actually come see us yes, right at, the at the breakfast table, table in Peter. New York City. That was a great interview. Great.